Hi guys, Platinum here. So, you guys uh, obviously probably know about my brand new Gundam, Gundam Epion, or Epion, or whatever you want to call him. I'm just going to resize my thing here. So, you guys obviously know Epion, because I made a video on him. So, I'm going to teach you how to make uh, folding, like, unfolding wings. Like, if you press a button, the wings will, like, unfold and, like, let you fly. So, I'm just going to load in Epion, and I'm going to show you how I did him. Okay, so... There's no install it, so let, well, let's just wait a bit. All right, so here we have Gundam Epion, my newest creation. So now we are going to make the wings. So I'm just gonna get some pink candy right here, and let's go up to the engine, or the, you know, the drive, or whatever you wanna call it, the, you know, thrusters. So here is a contraption. It, it looks very weird, but let's just break it down and build it from scratch. So, you are going to need at the scale, well, actually, you don't really need anything, to be honest, but, uh, uh, like, this, like, one of the necessities is probably the screwdriver tool, so that you can make things invisible, but you don't, like, absolutely need it, you don't have to have it, but if you want to make it look good, unless you have some way of hiding it, then yeah, so the first thing you want to do is have a Gundam, if you have a Gundam, you've basically already completed the step, good oh god, so good job, you have a Gundam, you've completed the, the first step, so, the next step is to have wings. If you have wings, good job. But the wings have to be connected uh, to a hinge right here. So the wings have to be able to move up and down, okay? So the wings have to be connected to a hinge and they have to move up and down. So the next step is to make the contraption once you have everything set up. So once you have a Gundam with moving up and down wings, then let's start. So the first thing you need is to put like two blocks like that. Now the next thing, and you make you want to make sure that it's connected. So the next thing you want to do is get two pistons right here. So one piston right here, and another one right. Actually, you know what? You know what we should do. We should actually get hinges. So get two blocks here. We need hinges right here. Yeah, like this, like bam and bam. Yeah, like that. And then we get two blocks like that and that. So now these should be able to move like, you know, around. So now the next thing we need to do is get pistons and put them on the ends of these blocks right here, like that. And now we need to get like that. It just needs to be, like, near the center of the wing, I guess. It doesn't have to be near the center, but, it, you know, it, it should be okay, yeah, right there. All right. Now that we've got that, we need to do this. Follow the step carefully. We need to get hinges. We do this. One, two, and three. Yep. And one, two, three. And now we get the plastic or whatever block you're using bam and bam all right so now that we have this contraption you want to set it to so if we have two gray pistons that means we want a gray button right here so the gray button will activate the gray pistons it's called color coding now we want to make all of this plastic invisible if you have the screwdriver tool unless you made it hidden somehow so now it should look like this it's still seeable, but it's a lot less seeable, and it looks pretty good. So, now, let's get in and see if it works. So we just do that and that, and now we need to get out our cake right here, like that. And now we hop in to our Gundam cockpit, and we get the wings, and let's test. So, the first thing you should be able to notice, the wings don't move when you flap around, but if we press the button, the wings will unfold. So, it, it depending on how much you want the wings to unfold, so as you can see, it's folding out quite a bit. So if you don't want, to, let me just stop the thrusters. Let me just sh shut up. Sh stop. No. 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 Okay. Uh. All right. So depending on how much you want the wings to unfold, so as you can see, they're f unfolding quite a bit, and my armor is kind of trapped in the wing because of how much it, fo it unfolded. So we can actually click the piston with our screwdriver tool, and we can change that to. Let's say five, like that. So now, 
it won't unfold as much so you can you can like you know change how much you want to unfold it thanks for watching this tutorial i kind of broke this one because i deleted a block but you know uh thanks for watching this video i hope you enjoyed and i'll see you guys next time uh see you later